If you're planning to buy the Microsoft Surface earbuds, then this is what you need to know. But first, let's do the unboxing. The first thing that you need to know is there is this unique integration between Office 365 apps and the Microsoft Surface earbuds. With this feature on, you can either dictate something in Microsoft Outlook or Word or advanced lights in a PowerPoint presentation and get live subtitles. While this is a very cool feature to have, but currently it is only limited for use with US Office 365 accounts. So if you're outside US and want to buy the Surface earbuds for Office 365 integration only, then my humble advice would be that you wait till this function is available in your part of the world before you make the call. Then let's talk about another unique feature which is the design. The earbuds have a big touch surface which to me literally looks like a big coin stuck in your ear. I'm not a big fan of this look but I could get on board with it if, it, if that space was utilized for some fancy touch gestures but the only fancy thing that it does so far is that it lets you skip slides in a PowerPoint presentation and the rest of the gestures like skipping songs or controlling volume are very very basic so I really don't see the point of having such a big surface area to do such basic commands whereas you have something like the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2 earbuds that can accurately handle all those gestures in a much smaller footprint. And my problems with the size of the surface earbuds don't stop there. Sometimes when I tried to wear the earbuds, I kept accidentally calling Siri. Since it only takes a long press on any of the earbuds to call the voice assistant, there were too many occasions where one of my fingers just slipped while I was trying to adjust the earbuds on my ears and I just pressed that huge surface and annoyingly called up the voice assistant. However, once you put them on, the experience is actually very nice. Unlike many of the earbuds out there, the Surface earbuds were intentionally designed not to go inside your ear canals and block off surrounding sound and give you some sort of a passive noise cancellation. It is meant to let surrounding sound in. I can see a good use case for this design choice. Say for example, you're at work and you want to listen to something but still want to be aware of your surroundings, then this will really help. So the earbuds use four anchor points which are positioned on the outside rim of your ear canal's entry to stay on the ears. And surprisingly, it is a very secure and comfortable fit. No matter how much I tried to get this off of my ears, it just stayed on. And I must say that this fit is my favorite among all the other earbuds that I have tried on so far because it is so damn comfortable. So it's super important that if you get this earphone, you make sure that you use the right ear tip to get that optimal fit. Plus it has IPX4 water resistance rating, so you will have that peace of mind even if your workout sessions get a little bit sweaty. But that really does not explain why Microsoft decided against giving the Surface earbuds noise cancellation though, because I think music sounds way better when you have noise cancelling on. And if you are a regular commuter, then having noise cancellation is super useful because then you can just zone out on your music or movies and don't have to care about any annoying humming sounds coming from your airplane engine or the bus. So anyone who's serious about listening to music might want to reconsider buying this considering that it doesn't have any sort of noise cancellation, active or passive. But that being said, the Surface Audio app lets you change the equalizer settings, which makes listening to music enjoyable. It does get very loud, which I like, but if you crank up the bass or the treble levels a little bit too high on this, then the sound will crack a bit. So some tweaking is required if you want your custom sound to sound perfect. Also, the layers between different instruments while listening to complicated music genres like classical music are not that well separated like you would get on the Sennheiser Momentum 2 or even in the Apple uh, AirPods Pro, but still it sounds pretty good. So kudos to Microsoft for doing a very good job in tuning that tiny 13.6mm driver inside these earbuds. It also supports aptX codec, so it can handle the pressure of gaming where low latency feedback is paramount for winning or losing an epic battle. But where it shines the most is in call quality. It uses two microphones in each of the earbuds, so even with the noise cancellation, the Surface gives a very clear audio feedback during a call in the most noisiest of environment. Now let us move on to the case. Overall, I'm happy with the construction and the build quality of this case. It has a glossy finish and sharp edges, so it's just not going to slip out of your hands. The size is also very much pocketable, unlike the Sony WF-1000XM3s, which were huge. This case also allows the earbuds to be recharged twice, fully giving it a total battery life of almost 24 hours. 
and also good to see is the USB-C charging port and that fast charging capability that gives you one hour of battery life in just 10 minutes of charging. So my final verdict is that I think the Surface earbuds are a good product considering that this is Microsoft's first take at wireless earbuds. So if you can get past how it looks, then go for it. However, in my humble opinion, I think it still needs some more updates and some design refinements to be someone's primary earbud. I mean, it's fine if you have a good over-ear headphone and then you want to get this as a second pair because then you can live with its shortcomings. But if you don't, then the only unique selling point for the Surface earbuds is the Office 365 integration. Take that away and you're left with an earbud that costs more than 300 Aussie dollars which does not even have noise cancellation and has standard specs and features. Sure, it's cheaper than the AirPods Pro and the Sennheiser, but that does not eliminate all the other competition out there. For a similar price, you can get the Sony WF-1000XL3s and I think it does a better job because it has noise cancellation and a lot of other features that you might just like. Anyways, that's just me. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this matter. So feel free to drop a line in the comment section down below and I'll see you again next week. Peace.